Hey guys, this is Racing for Music, and this is my NASCAR Wall of Fame. I've done them on the the um, for as border for my room or my bathroom, I should say. Excuse me. And these, and I drew all these cars. See, so there's two Richard Petty cars. Bottom ones from '87, and the top ones from '67. Dale Earnhardt's um, 87 Wrangler car, and it's also the same year Darrell Waltrip car as a tie car. There Neil Bonnet and Michael Waltrip, Ned Jarrett down the bottom, and of course we all know who the 48 is, which we should know by now. <laughs> um, Jeff Bodine, Bob Daytona 500 winner, 86, and Jerry Nadeau, 2000 Atlanta winner. Here and there's Daryl Waltrip's 82 Mountain Dew car, Jeff Bodine's 92 Motorcraft car, there's Sterling Rollins' 91 Maxwell House car, Ron Bouchard, Talladega 81, won that race. Another Daryl Waltrip car, 85 championship car, and Cale Yarborough, 84, was the year of, it, of this car. Uh, Rusty Wallace, 86 Bristol, and Tim Richmond, also from 86. Um, there, Terry Labonte's 84 championship car, and Neil Bonnet, his car. 81 Wood Brothers car. And there's legendary picture, Richard Petty, and of course, Dale Earnhardt. Good wrench car. Uh, Denny Hamlin and Jeff Gordon and apologize for all the laundry being there um, did all the Denny Hamlin FedEx cars all in a line all of them 2010s uh, ones up on top uh, the Castro car is not a fake one that's a real Bush car Casey Atwood Drove that in 1999. Two-time winner. Won Milwaukee and Dover. Wish I had those races on tape. Wish I did. Uh, Kyle Petty's 91 Meliella car. Ernie Irvin's 91 Daytona 500 champion, champion car. Um, Harry Gant and Brett Bodine. Quaker State car. Always liked the, that Buick body style. Um... The 26 car, uh, Jimmy Means, the 52 car, and the 70 car, uh, JD McDuffie. Two Tony Stewart cars, 2005 championship car on the top, and of course his current one on the bottom. And right behind two, the following drivers we will literally forever miss. They're Alan Quickie and Davey Allison. Right there. It's Davies, Daytona 500 winner from 92. Quickie's 92 championship car. Kenny Schrader, Kodiak car, and of course the other Kodiak car, Rusty Wallace's 1989 championship winner. Um, Jamie McMurray down the bottom, and Bobby Hamilton, may he rest in peace too. That was his 91 rookie car. Of course, another Jamie Johnson car, and that car up on top is the 60 Daytona, 1960 Daytona 500 champ Junior Johnson drove that car. Um, Carl Edwards and Lake Speed's Darlington winner from 88. Uh, another Allen Quickie car, and of course we don't know who the Balvin car, that's Mark Martin. Uh, Morgan Shepard on the bottom. And the car Dale Jarrett drove to his first ever win. Michigan 91, the Sitgo car. Uh, two Penzoil cars, Kevin Harvick bottom and Michael Waltrip on top. Um, Kyle Petty's peak antifreeze car. I always like the paint scheme on that car. Of course, another other tied ride, number five, Ricky Rudd. Um, two, number two cars, Kurt Busch on the bottom, Rusty Wallace on top. 
Um, there, Jeff Burton and Dale Jr., Clint Boyer and Derek Copes, Daytona winner from 90. Uh, there's the other Kodak car I did, 95, Daytona winner, Sterling Marlin, and Dale Jarrett's 1999 uh, championship winner. There's another championship, two more championship winners, Richard Petty's 1975 car, and Jeff Gordon's from 90, 98. And there's two more championship cars. Terry Labonte's 96 champion winner and Bobby Labonte's 2000 championship winner. So yeah, let's see how well I did the detail on these cars. Right there. All the sponsors and the stuff. Um, Fireball Roberts on the top of there, 1962. Daytona Champ, and there's a 2002 Rockingham car of Johnny Benson. He won that race. Uh, Richard Childress's Chevy Laguna from 77, and Donnie, Donnie Allison's um, Hawaiian Tropic car, Haas Ellington, who he drove for. Buddy Baker's 1980 Daytona car still holds the fastest Daytona 500 winner ever. And up above Buddy's car is the 1973 championship car of Benny Parsons. Here, I miss Benny. Always will in the booth. Uh, Jeff Burton's 1999 X-Side car. I like that paint scheme. Sixth wins with that car too. And of course the car that took Bill Elliott to the Winston Million, 1985, year I was born. Um, Jeff Gordon's 2007, uh, 2007 car, I was going to say championship. He would have been if it wasn't for the chase. Um, and Tiny Lund's 1963 Daytona winner. And there's Bill Elliott's blue car from 91. And David Pearson's 76 Daytona winner. Uh, Phil Parsons, he's another one of the one-win wonders I got from 88 at Talladega. And Fast Freddy Lorenzen, 1965 Daytona winner. And there's another Benny Parsons car I got, 1975 Daytona champ. And right below him, the Dale Earnhardt Jr. car from 07, I think. And there's... Look at that. Look at right, right down at the bottom. We created the Bobby Allison, Davey Allison. Uh, look like fin look like finish from Daytona. Davey's car's not an 88. His car's an 87. This is rookie car. And that's Bobby Allison's 88. Daytona champ. And up above him, another Daytona winner, Ward Burton. Parsons cars was Daytona champ too. That's a, that that run right there. 1975 was the year. Ward's cars from 02, and that's one of the cars Bobby Allison owned. That's Hutch Strickland. 1991 was the year. And there's another Bobby Allison car. That's his 83 championship car. And up above it, 1987 Kyle Petty Woodbutter's car. Car he drove to the 600 win that year. Number the 7-Eleven Sitgo car. Bill Elliott's 1988 Dayton or 1988 um, championship car. One of his many famous Coors cars. And there's Harry Gantz, 83 Buick. Back in those days, he was known as the Bandit. Still is now. Mark Martin's first Roush car, 1988, and Ryan Newman's. Famous Alltel car, car you remember he won, won the pole about every time he came up and qualified, pretty much. Um, and I don't get squeezed right through. Um, here's all the cars I got out from behind the. That's Tim Flox, 1955, uh, championship car. And there's Benny Parsons' car. He drove to his last win. Atlanta, 84. Lee Petty, 1959. Daytona champ. And right there is 
Curtis Turner, 1958 Ford. Um, notice a little bit down. That's Buck Baker's 1956 championship winner, and there's Greg Biffle's 2005 car. And to get to the more current cars, Carl Edwards from 2008. We already won like eight or nine times. The last Winston Cup, champ Matt Kenseth, 2003. And right there's the famous Dale Jarrett UPS car, 2001. What's the year? Always liked that car. And there's all my cars I drew for my wall of fame, my bathroom. And hope you all liked how I did the cars. There it is. And then let's, let me give you a fast look of them. Um, if you got any comments about the cars um, or the video, please leave them. And hope you all have a Merry Christmas. This is Racing for Music saying, CN, God bless.